What's up, fellas? Today, if you wanna. <laughs> <laughs> what is up, my fellas? Today, we're gonna learn. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so hard? What is up my dudes today? I'm gonna show you how to edit a thumbnail like Feudives or any other COD search and destroy YouTuber. You wanna go to a custom game and then you want to pick whatever gun you're using, obviously. Choose a choose a color for camo, whatever it is. Usually I go for tiger, red tiger, whatever uh is bright. You wanna make sure it's on Anaya Palace. And then you go to game rules. Gameplay. You go, turn on either hardcore or realism mode. All right, guys. So you guys want to come to this location at the gas station, right here in the back left hand of the map. Anyway, you come to this gas station. You look this way. You you look up. Make sure the sun hits your gun at a right angle. And then what, what you want to do right here is you want to take a screenshot. You could either have it facing this way or this way. All right. So once you guys are in Photoshop, what you want to do is click File. You click new and then you want to make one that's anyway you want to make it at uh, 1280 by 720 and then you just create it you can do a background or not background this is just here for the map that we're gonna choose. so what you want to do is you want to open your screenshot once you open up your picture you want to go over here you could there's a faster way to do this i'm going to show you the faster way and then i'm going to show you the slow way that makes your gun look better so you come over here you click the magic wand tool make sure it's on magic wand you click the background and then you click delete and it should delete everything that's around your gun not your gun so you do that then you just delete everything around you might have to click Control d it'll unselect everything but you delete all the extra stuff when you're done with that you come over here you double click the layer and then you click stroke you want to set it on black and like six inches <laughs> six inches <laughs> i mean six <laughs> pixels and then you come around with the eraser and just try to delete delete some of that wait once you guys are done with that after you select your gun or after you erase everything on the gun, you want to go to Google Chrome and look up just any COD map that you want to use. And then you come over here to your first page that you made. You put this in. What you want to do right now is you click this little bu bubble down here. You go to Hue and Saturation. And you want to turn the saturation to me to around 30. That's what I always do. 35, 30, 30 looks good right now. And then now you want to go to filter, you go to blur, you go to Gaussian blur or motion blur, I mean. And you turn it to, oh, I, I put that on the wrong layer. Okay, so you go to filter, blur, motion blur, and then you put it on whatever distance you like. I usually put it up to around 30 also, like the saturation, but I'm probably gonna put it at 33. Take your gun. Drag it over. Wanna resize it? The reason you make this filter is because you want the gun to be bigger than the actual picture, so it looks like that. You guys can make it smaller, you can make it fit the whole screen if you'd want. But I usually have the tip. <laughs> Come off the camera. <laughs> Go off the tip. Go to your paintbrush. Alright, so you hold alt and you click the part of your gun that you want to make brighter. So right now we're doing the purple. And then you just go over it. Okay, once you guys are done with that, what you want to do is you come over here, you go to the, you make sure you have your layer selected, you go to the normal, and then you go to whatever makes it like glow. So probably lighter, lighter color. I usually use overlay, but lighter color makes it glow a little bit. You can just come over here to the eraser, lock the background, go in this layer, and then get that off the gun or the picture. Just make sure everything looks okay. Don't look too bad. After you're done with that, you're basically almost done unless you want to add text or something. And if you want to do that, I usually, I have text downloaded from the internet. I have a certain text, but what you want to do is you place the text. And then you type out whatever you want for it. I'm just going to put thumbnail on it. I don't know why I'm just going to. Then you click over here, you resize it. You want to put it behind your gun though, so 
Gotham Medium, that's what I use. If you want to, you can just look that up and you can download it. Just make sure it's safe. Then what you want to do is you want to double clap. Double clap. <laughs> you <laughs> double click it. You can put stroke on it. I, there's also another way you can do it. If you don't want to drag it behind it, you can put the, the words in front of it and then you go to the eraser. Oh, you got to rasterize it first. You right click it, rasterize type, and then you just go like this. Oh, I obviously messed up right there, so I'm going to not do that and then you can just erase it like this sometimes it looks better like this because it creates that little effect on it you know like it, it looks like it's popping around the gun messed up right there let me just sometimes i sometimes i would do it like this because it looks like it's popping around the gun also do it like that i personally do it like that because i think it looks a little bit better come over here to the you click the first thing and then you hold shift, you click the first layer, you right click and you flatten image so it becomes a background. And what you want to do is you go to file, export, export as. And what you want to do here is you want to make sure that this right here is under two megabytes. If it's over it, you can't upload it as a YouTube thumbnail. So what you want to come over, if you, if it is over two megabytes, you come over here, you click smaller file 8-bit and then you just click export, save it. Please. And that is your tutorial. That's how you make a feud of style thumbnail. You can that you can do whatever you want to be honest. It doesn't have to be the same background, same gun. Or you don't even have to put words on it, but I usually do. But uh, if you all enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I can give you more tutorials and how I edit my videos, things like that. And see y'all next time. Hope you enjoyed.